In this video, I'll cover a powerful virtualization platform called Proxmox VE. I'll show you how to prepare a bootable flash drive, install Proxmox VE, and set up virtual machines and containers. So why Proxmox? It's open source, has a clean web UI, supports ZFS and clustering, and lets you run both LXC containers and full KVM-based VMs. But before we begin, let's go over what you need. System requirements include a CPU with support for DTX or AMD V, at least 4 GB of RAM, though 8 GB or more is highly recommended. To get started, you'll need the Proxmox V image file from proxmox.com and optionally, Rufus to create a bootable USB. Rufus is a software that makes creating bootable drives super straightforward. You can download it from rufus.ie and if you don't want to keep it on your computer, you can just use the portable version. Remember that this will remove all the data from your USB drive. To create the bootable USB, open Rufus, select your USB drive, Next, select the Proxmox ISO and click Start. Now that your bootable USB is ready, let's install Proxmox. First, plug in the drive in before turning on your server. And in most cases, for a computer to boot from a USB drive, you'll need to press a specific key on your keyboard right after you turn it on and select the drive. A quick web search should usually get you the right key. Select your USB drive as the boot device and wait for the Proxmox menu to appear. Select Install Proxmox V and go through the license agreement. Then choose your disk format, ZFS for advanced features or EXT4 for simplicity. ZFS and EXT4 are both file systems that your computer uses to store files. ZFS is generally encouraged for servers because of its robust features regarding data security and integrity. EXT4, on the other hand, can also be used, but it is better suited for simple and low resource systems. Next, enter your host name, then the root password, and finally, the email address. Configure your network to use DHCP for automatic IP or set it manually. Once all of that's done and the installation is finished, reboot your computer and don't forget to unplug the USB drive. After rebooting, log into the Proxmox from another device. To do that, check your server's IP address on your router or for the IPA command in your Proxmox server. Once you have the correct IP address, add colon 8006 at the end of the URL. You might see a warning about the SSL certificate, but just accept it to proceed. This is the Proxmox dashboard. On the left, you'll see your node and the data center. In the center, however, you can see the resource usage and VM or container lists. Now, let's talk about storage. You'll notice there are two types, local and local LVM. The local storage is your regular file-based storage system where you can keep your images or some other files. Local LVM, on the other hand, is what's called local volume manager storage and it's used for your virtual machine drives. Now is the time to create your virtual machine. First, download an ISO image. To do that, head over to your local directory, then ISO images, and click download from URL. Put in the URL, file name, and optionally the checksum to make sure the downloaded file is intact. Give it a couple of minutes to download because the image files are usually quite big. Now you can click create VM, then go through the wizard, name your VM, select the ISO image, and assign resources like CPU, memory, and disk. Now, choose your disk settings. I will reduce my disk size slightly because my drive is relatively small. Next, set up your network. Bridge mode allows the VM to access your local network like a real machine. Start the VM and launch the console. You can now install your OS just like on a physical computer. And the best thing, if you want to secure your VM with a VPN, you can simply install NordVPN inside of it and connect to one of the hundreds of servers available. So what if you want to access it remotely? MeshNet is here to help as well. Now, let's check out LXC containers. These are lightweight alternatives to VMs, faster to start and use fewer resources. Setting up an LXC container is very similar to creating a VM. First, grab a container template, 
you can choose Alpine for your first container as it's extremely lightweight. Once that's done, simply click Create CT and proceed with configuration as you did with a VM. Containers are great for running isolated services like web servers or databases, and they start in seconds. Here's a quick recap. We installed Proxmox, set up VMs, explored containers, and covered some advanced features. Now you can try it yourself. An old PC or mini server is perfect for testing Proxmox at home. If you found this helpful, give it a like, subscribe for more, and make sure to leave a comment if you have any questions.